Good morning, good morning. How's the frame rate out there? Is it okay? You know where we are? We're up on the third floor and it's not the sizing room. I had a choice today. Today's choice, it's printing, but not the printing I want to be doing on stream. <laughs> it might be a bit of a tough stream this morning. I was considering, actually, I was considering cancelling. Just putting up a note, sorry, can't stream today. Because the block on my bench this morning is the key block. It's the key block for the cat print. And I shouldn't be trying to do this live. We talked about this at the end of the last stream. It, because it's a boxwood block, I mean, anyway, it's difficult in any block, but because it's a boxwood block, the timing is important. I'm moistening it now. I've got a wet rag on here. It's been on here for 15 minutes, trying to get that uh, block drinking, drinking, drinking. It doesn't want to drink. But anyway, it's been drinking, drinking, drinking. And the idea, once I get going, I've got my brush and my pigment, take the time to print X seconds, take a look at it, get going the next one, brush, pigment, whatever. If I stop to answer the phone or something for 10, 15, 20 seconds, the block dries out that much during that time. And when back to the beginning, you're ending up putting water on it, it spoils the next impression, stuff like this. So the point being, I really should try and do this without distractions. I was going to do it last night. I came up here last night after we closed the shop at 5.30 or so. Six staff went home. I, bought a, I got a quick dinner. Came up here 7.38 with the intention of doing this last night and being able to do a grey colour block this morning. But I wasn't able to do it. The paper was too wet. It was too soft. I had moistened it a bit too much and then printed a background grey on top of it. I did about 10 sheets and then had to bail out. had to bail out. They were just, uh, the impression was not, I don't know if I can get you, the impression was too uh, blurry. It should be crisp and sharp. If I, if I find a copy, hang on a sec. Well, this is junk paper, so it's not really a fair comparison, but the impression should be sharp and crisp on the paper. I don't know if you can see a difference. I'm sorry. I don't it is. When you see them close up, it's a real difference. The impression should be sharp and crisp, which is easy to do with this kind of paper. But with the soft, washy paper, it's got to be just right. And I had it yesterday too, too moist. So I had to bail out last night and I put interleaving sheets. You can see it. It's coming up. You'll be seeing it as I take them out this morning. It was really, really quite overly wet, overly soft. So I put interleaving sheets of some newsprint in between and left it overnight. And it seems to have pulled out just enough moisture to make it right. Not quite sure about that. We'll find out as we go. So we're going to give it a try this morning. So John's warning me that you guys should take care of chat. You know. I'll, I'll talk, whatever, obviously, and I can maybe look up now and again and see something, but there's no way I can, I can stop. And, or if you see me doing this, get on my ass and just, Dave, get back to work, whatever. <laughs> Is it ready? I don't know. Is it ready? And what's not helping it today is that it's a super, super hot, dry day. What's the humidity? Humidity is 40 in this room. The air conditioner, of course, is on. Without it, it would be unbearable to sit here. This is the third floor concrete ceiling. And the concrete ceiling is open to the sun at the top. And this room becomes an absolute oven. Same place as the one where we do the sizing. So there's no question, the air conditioner has to go on. So it's dried everything it's going to make it worse. I'm waiting for the block. John says get to work. I'm waiting for the block.
Drink, drink, drink. Other than that, it should be a normal printing. I've got, uh, we're going to work just with straight uh, Sumi pigment. It's very, very dilute. I've diluted it twice to help me here. I've got a bowl. I poured the, the Bokuju, the raw Sumi mix we have in here, into this bowl. And then I cut it with water to about 50%. And that's still a bit too strong to dab directly onto the block. So I put some into a second bowl and cut it with water to about something percent. And I can see this. You'll see the, the, the uh, tile where it goes on. And I pick it up from the tile. And this gives me much better control over how much pigment is going onto this, onto the wood. Paper is not out this morning. There's nobody else going to be here. Lots of our printers now are on, you know, holidays. Uh, Yuki-san will probably be here this afternoon, but she's at Japanese language school in the mornings. So nobody is here except this little guy here. I would prefer to do the key block on this one right at the end, but the registration doesn't permit it. There's too much registration. Those leaves and the condition of the paper, I've been shrinking it and expanding it. So I've got to do the key block first. Bowls are ready. Baron is ready. Brush is wet. Yep, Baron's oiled. Yep, we did that a second ago. Let's put a tad more on it here. Coffee is drunk. I got back from the pool a bit early. I, I cut early. I didn't do a full kilometer. Coffee is drunk. Everything is ready. What's the expression? Thunderbirds are gold. Let's do this. sheets on top. The first impressions you see here will not be on my normal washi. They're going to be test sheets so I can try and get the density of the pigment right. It's impossible to tell from looking at it on the block. You've just got to see the previous impression and base your next pigment splash on what you saw come up. This is just junk paper. I think it's Chinese calligraphy paper. If only the rest of it were that easy. It was a good decision last night to cut and run. I wasn't sure if it would be any better this morning, but it's better. We have a nice impression. We're going to be okay. As I said, I cannot hang around though. Thank you. 
If you're just dropping in, I know today's a bit of a different stream, I won't be heavily monitoring the chat today. I know I can't uh, look up, it affects the timing of the printing here. So if you've just joined us, please understand that I won't be really watching the chat today. It's going to be up to you guys in the mods to make your conversation today. I might look up now and then to see something there, but I won't be able to participate in the general flow of, of conversation today. This is a recording. As far as the count, that's five sheets I've done now. There are 70 sheets in my batch here. There, there were 80 sheets, but I did 10 sheets last night when I was doing this testing. So there are 70 sheets you're going to see here today. Actually, 71, I think. There's one test sheet in there, too. That's five. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm just going to sit here and keep running till it's over. I haven't specifically prepared a show and tell for this. I've been too focused on this work. So today's stream will be this. You're going to see 76 sheets of this in groups of basically 10 at a time until we're done. I don't think there will be interruptions. This Kalsan's not coming up here today to print. The lady who you saw the other day side beside me here. going well. And the block is just on the edge of being too dry. This is what I said. If I did stop and chat and pause, it's just even 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, it dries out too much. This boxwood is just insane to print. I envy the, the British guys, the people who use boxwood on the end grain and who work with oil-based ink with it. They roll their ink on and they can come back a half an hour later and take their impression. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I envy their use of this wood. Whatever, we make our own beds, we lie in them, so that's what this is. The result is gorgeous, but uh, my god. We are looking good. I said there's 75 copies here. There is, but we've got to do over 400 of these this month. And I've got printers off, Sugasan's off for summer. Kubota-san's busy, Chihara-san's busy, Nechan's working on the next one of these already. Ishikawa-san's going to be working on the Kiyomizu print for Kyoto Journey. 
I don't have printers to assign to this job and we are now right behind what's the expression behind the eight ball I don't know so it could be this is my work now for the next couple of weeks just batches of this one after the other one after the other This block might get to be good friends. Okay, now let's see how we do this. We're going to need a bit more of that in here, a bit more of this in here. Now that we've got six, seven, eight sheets done, I can see the density of this pigment here. Make some more adjustments on it. You saw me adding a bit of black there to the tile. Well, we should put that in. It showed me that this one was a bit too light, so we can remix this a bit. Get more black in this one, and I shouldn't have to add extra black to each impression. a bit funny now with the gray cats like why are we having gray cats it looks like it's some kind of night scene but once the other tones start to go on the cats will actually look lighter they look a bit funny now because all you see is the background tone trust me trust me trust me someone asking about why we call Ray, Ray Chan instead of Ray San. It's funny, hey, she's, she's whatever. I, sh I shouldn't give her age. She's not a little kid anymore and there's no reason really to be calling her Chan. It's just that when she came here, she was the, was she the youngest in the group? I don't know, but it stuck as a handle for her. We probably shouldn't be doing it. It doesn't hurt. Ayumi changed, yeah, Ayumi San. The, the girl doing the Yoshida print, you know, the Baron Maker girl. She was Ayumi-chan, absolutely, because she was a little kid, really a little kid, 17, 18. But she got married and had two kids, and you can't, there's a woman with two kids, you can't sit here calling her Ayumi-chan. doesn't work like that. So, so she, uh, it evolved naturally without any specific decision. It evolved to call her Ayumi-san. But Lei-chan has had no, no specific change in her life or anything like that, so we're just still stuck with calling her Lei-chan. If she was annoyed by it and asked us to change, we would do so, but I think it's okay. There's no disrespect there. Here, this next packet still got the newspaper interleaving. And here we are. It's the break of 10, so that block has now dried. So we're going to pull... I'm ready with my next 10 sheets, but I don't trust the wood anymore. It dried out a bit too much. So I'm going to pull another. Okay, let's look at the difference.
Again, for people just joining, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to watch the chat intently today. Maybe the mods are explaining already about this, I don't know. The work today is too uh, time, insens in time sensitive for me to be able to take breaks and read the chat, so uh, my apologies. It's, it's, uh, it's a watch-only chat today, whatever you want to call it, so I can't be too interactive today, I'm sorry. Okay, now it's changing a bit. I've got to back off now the amount of liquid I'm putting on the block. There's too much liquid now going on. It was okay at the beginning, but now we see liquid starting to come through the back. This is not good. There's too much actual water, sumi pigment, liquid on the block. So I've got to cut back on what goes on this tile here. Maybe half the amount for this one, maybe. Let's see. It builds up. It builds up on the wood. Maybe as the wood has becoming more moist now, less moisture soaks into it. The brush has now built up a full head of, of pigment inside it as well. So you can't just turn yourself on automatic and do it the same all the way through the run. You've got to watch, watch, watch. And every sheet that comes off, you have a look at it, and as it changes, you change your inputs. So that dense area near the tail is much, much better now. Every single sheet you inspect, check, adjust your inputs. Every single sheet of every color. It's the way you drive down the road, you know. The, your fingers are on the steering wheel, and even if you're on a long straight highway, you still, your hand is on the steering wheel, tiny bit left, tiny bit right, tiny bit left. Thank <laughs> you. 
spoon. The wear and tear on a block like this is really minimal, you know. We're going to be able to make thousands of these. It's a boxwood block, it's very hard. The brush is extremely soft. The impact from the Baron. Oh, this is the test sheet. So we must have done 10. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we did 10. This is the 11th. This is the test sheet. This is the Shimane paper. Paper from Shimane Prefecture. It's Sekishu Banshi. You can see it's a different color. Let's have a look at it while we pull it off. Remember when we did the background color the other day, it was feathery. So the sizing on this sheet is not going to be adequate. But it really is going to make a nice looking print, you know. And it's too soft, yeah, too soft. Some of those lines are a little bit schmucked. Okay, that's 10 slash 11. And again, the block now is screaming at me, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. But I've got to get the next 10 ready. So let's do another, I've got to get some more water here too. So because of the time gap, let's pull another test sheet.
Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Yeah, schmuck. Yeah, somebody's talking about the, 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 the Jewish way to use that word, I think. I'm not trying to... This is not cultural appropriation. Somewhere along the line, somewhere, there was the idea of... Is it Calvin and Hobbes? He was schmucking worms. He was walking down the sidewalk. And if I got it wrong, it's quite possible I've got it wrong. To using too much pressure on something soft and squishy. And I don't, I guess it's not an authorized dictionary usage. It seems to me it was schmuck, S C H M U C K. And if I've got it wrong, that's fine. <laughs> so I stand corrected. <laughs> Maybe it was just straight smuck. Maybe he was smucking worms. I don't know. And Calvin Hobbes is not exactly Shakespeare, so maybe we should not be... Uh... Anyway, I'll stand by to, to be corrected, it's no problem. We're not talking about authorized Japanese printmaking vocabulary here. Too much pigment, too much pigment. The first one in the next batch of 10. Oh. That's what I get from looking up at the chat. Blame it on you guys. very possible I'm just confusing two things in my mind that that expression of a schmuck he's a real schmuck you know an adult or something it's possible I've mixed up two things here possible probable inevitable This corner needs less pressure. Right? There's a bunch of leaves over here I can firmly press down the bottom, no problem. But that corner, the arch of that cat's back, I've got to back off the pressure. Otherwise it gets, to use the word, otherwise it gets squeezed on wet paper. It gets smucked. <laughs> Okay, how are we doing for time? We have done 20 sheets. This is now we're into the third batch of 10. As I said, there's 70 sheets in my pile here. 10, it was 80 altogether, but 10 were done last night. So this is the third group of 10 of seven groups. So you can check our time. What is it? 820, 840. Actually, it should be easy to work out how long this is going to take today, because I would imagine the time per sheet is pretty stable.
they were doing well today, and I was a bit afraid. <coughs> this whole idea of doing a key block on a stream, I thought, was potentially a disaster. And I was thinking I was going to just maybe part way through, just have to bail. Sorry, people, I can't do this. But it is actually going well. The printing is going well. I have no idea how the stream and chat is going. I don't know. <laughs> no idea about the noise. He sounds like a garbage talk. I don't think there's any garbage scheduled Monday. Is this the... The first and third Mondays have... I don't know, non-recyclable garbage. We're on the second Monday. There's no garbage pickup today that I remember. Turn on my clothes again. Is it time to rotate the clothes? I've got three shirts up on the rack there. I wash every second, third day. And once they start to get holes in the sleeves, somebody will jog me politely or whatever. The shirt now, I think it's one that I got from my daughter. She gave it to me from her, her husband's drawer. attempt to read meaning into what I'm wearing. It just doesn't It's clean, I think. That's my one goal, to make sure my clothes are not smelling. Is that 10? One, two, three, four, five, that's 10. So we've come to another batch of 10. And again, the block will have to dry a little bit while we pull out our next interleaf sheet. So that's 30 done, there's 40 left this morning. How's our time? Well, well there's obviously not gonna be a show and tell here today. Obviously, clearly, absolutely not gonna be a show and tell here today. I've got 10, 20. 30, 40 sheets left. And Dave here is just going to sit here until they're done. 
Now block now is absolutely dry. Drink, drink, drink. It's not a bracelet, it's, uh, it's a thing, you know, what do you call it? An accountant's, we talked about this before. It's a loop holding my, holding my cuff so that my cuff doesn't bang the back of the paper. Sleeve garter, yeah, I think that's what they're called. Drink, drink, drink. Okay, let's do this. Let's move on. Now the block is a little bit moist now, so just need a bit of pigment. Could be a tap too wet. Yeah, look at this, we can see it from the back. It had too much moisture on the block, you know. It was overly dried out. So the brush had too much moisture in it. From the front, it's going to look okay. But if you look at the back, you'll see many places where the, the moisture has come through to the back. I think we've got enough liquid in the brush right now. Maybe pull another. I should have done that before the last one.
People joining again on a little bit of a different stream today. Um, because of the intensity of the timing on this one, this block, the block dries easily and I can't actually take breaks between each impression, which means I can't read the chat carefully today. So today you're, you're, I have no real chance to join your conversation today. I just have to focus on this, uh, on the timing of this printing. So. Enjoy your, your chat as, as it is, but I can't really f answer many questions and stuff today. So the mods are, of course, helping with this. But uh, I'm a little bit out of here today, so I'm here but not here. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> and if any of the other printers, I don't think anybody will be coming in the room today, but if any of the other printers came in this morning, or if Ayano-san, for example, she may come in at 9 o'clock. She may come upstairs with her computer and say, Dave, I got a couple of questions. And I will just look at her. I will point to the block. She will hopefully get the idea that this is a key block and she'll say, okay, I'll see you later, alligator. Actually, she must be arriving any minute now. She'll arrive downstairs and see me not there. And she will probably assume I'm doing sizing upstairs. We'll see. She may drop in just after 9 o'clock and we'll tell her politely to go away. <laughs> it's been a quiet weekend, both, both in the shop and online. There wasn't very much activity online and the shop yesterday was very, very quiet. The shop staff yesterday just simply did spent their time packing and preparing labels and things like this. And I, I just dozed. In the shop in the afternoon, I was kind of lazy. I was just hanging around doing nothing, getting ready for the printing in the evening. And that didn't happen, so uh, I didn't have a free evening. I just got busy on the programming. Built a new module for our, uh, for our accounting team. Because we have custom software for all of our bookkeeping, the accountant who does our auditing, he really has trouble with this. He is legally supposed to be able to verify our accounts but because we're using custom software, he has no way to really look inside and see what we're doing. For all he knows, I could be an evil genius programmer running a double set of books and giving him some numbers and hiding the other numbers. You know, and he legally has to sign off on this stuff. and He can't. We've showed him our system, but he doesn't, you know, he, he's got to trust me. So what we're doing is the, our, our own team, Aoyama-san and Yamada-san, in order to help interface with the, the accountant, the tax accountant, who is going to sign off on our books, they've asked me to prepare a module that will export all of our financial data, the raw data, the transactions from the journals, 
And they've asked me to prepare a module that will export the journal data into a form that he can import into his package software. We sort of tried this last year and it didn't work. But this year they've spent more time on it and they've given me a cross-reference between our chart of accounts and his chart of accounts. If you're into accounting and bookkeeping, you'll know what that's all about. So last night I wrote the module that, that will export our full years. It will dump our full year's financial data into a form that he can at least pull into his software to inspect and read. And that will give him enough information to verify that our own system is, is what it is and he's going to be able to sign off knowing that at least he's signing off on real numbers. You see, I wrote code, but I'm not, I didn't create anything from scratch. I patched it together from a couple of previous existing modules. Of course, we've had this thing in place now for years. So I've already got modules that will read the journals. We've got modules that will export spreadsheets in various formats. So what I needed to do last night was simply patch together some of those code segments using the information to make the cross-reference table. That was the only part, make the cross-reference table between our numbers and their numbers. So this was not uh, some sophisticated programming genius work last night, not at all. It was using code segments that I've created in the past, putting them together into a form to make a new structure. So. And it's very easy and flexible because we're using a LAMP stack system. So this is just PHP stuff. This is nothing at all complicated. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's programming 101, but it's I know, nothing sophisticated at all. And I've got a good, good, good library now. My God, I've got a good library of, of segments, snippets, routines. In fact, if you ask me to sit down, like the, whatever, the Google test, you go to Google, apply for employment, sit down in here, write a code, blah, 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 to do this, I would flunk totally. Because all of my, quote, programming, unquote, these days, all of it is simply putting together the existing segments of our own system, already including system. Yeah. So I'm not like a computer science major or anything like this. If you asked me to write a sort program using three different methods to compare them, you know, I'd be lost. wet paper, you know, the, the oil on the back of this thing goes on there, but it doesn't last long. <clears throat> you can't put so much oil on there that it smears into the paper. And all the paper is wet. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Nice one. This is a nice little print and it's coming out well. That's another 10. That leaves us with 30 sheets. How's our time? 9 o'clock. 
I hear somebody on the staircase. Maybe that's Ayama-san coming up. I don't know. Someone's saying uh, impressions of the key block as coloring books. We did this before. I know I've had a couple of coloring books published here in Japan. They're in bookstores, so they were. They're out of print now. Back when I did the Poets series, there was a rage in what was called Otona no Nudie, coloring for adults. And it didn't mean like porn or anything. That wasn't adults in that sense. It was just simply not meaning not for children. There was a big rash in coloring books published in Japan. This is through the 1990s or so. And uh, I, I had a couple published. I didn't do it myself. I was approached by a publisher. I gave them key block printings of some of the prints. And they published them as, as I said, coloring books for adults. I've got some copies on the shelf back in Ome. And then we ourselves have got this in our own catalog. We have one small experimental coloring book in an ebook format. You download it as an ebook and you print it out yourself. I know the octopus print isn't included in there. <laughs> it was spent for school kids, whatever. But I think it's in our catalog somewhere. I forget, charge two bucks for it or something? I can't remember what it is. I don't remember. Years since I thought about this.
So I'm saying is it true that industrial colors like Prussian blue can damage the blocks? It's nothing to do with the fact that it's industrial, but Prussian blue and a number of the other blues actually are uh, physically hard. You know, no matter how finely we grind them, the particles down at heart are actually physically harder than a number of the more traditional particles. Like when we do indigo, indigo is uh, different. So an indigo uh, pigment will will not damage the block as much as one of those uh, as a Prussian blue. But I'm not sure I'm willing to blame that on the fact that it's industrial. There will be lots more. We don't use it so much ourselves. but what's the color? Lapis lazuli, that blue one. It's, it's a, a sort of a stone that you grind up and uh, I haven't had so much experience with it but that too apparently is sharp and, uh, and abrasive and it'll make short work of your blocks. It's coming down to the softness of the pigments and how well they dissolve in water. And Prussian blue also, the other reason why that seems to be wearing and tearing in the great wave blocks is because you really slap it on. The prints that call for Prussian blue never ever call for it as a tint, they call for it as a deep blue smash. And you've got to put lots of it on there. The brush is thick and full with it. The brush gets hard, the brush gets, it just, it's an abrasive mess. So there's a number of factors combined. Speaking about the Great Wave, I got an email two or three days ago from a young man, young man, I guess, a pers person, and I think in America, I'm not quite sure where, said he had recently found a Great Wave in a storage box. And would I be willing to have a look at it and tell him something about it? And I guess he had thought that maybe he had got a hold of an original Great Wave or something, whatever. I said, send over some images, and he did. And two surprises. One is the, the print he had was, it's basically junk. It's a 19, it could be 1950s, I'm not sure. It's a post-war uh, reproduction company image of the Great Wave, not very carefully carved at all. I would guess 1955, 1960, somewhere on there. But he also had the full set of blocks. He sent the photographs of the print and a full set of blocks. And my guess would be this might be from the Kyoto Hanga Inn. A lot of their stuff was uh, dispersed recently, and it's been coming up on the market here in Yahoo Auctions. But he's got a full set of blocks for printing a reproduction copy of The Great Wave. And they look well used. Well, well, well used. I don't know if he's here on the chat, whatever. And he, when I told him that this was, you know, it was just a reproduction I image, he was obviously very disappointed. He was thinking he might have scored a, a million dollar great wave. No, not at all. But that actually, what he's got there has got some value. If the package he had, that set of blocks plus the print made from it, if he were putting that up here on Yahoo Auction here in Japan, that would go, I think, for, well, it shouldn't go for six figures, two or three, maybe 200,000 yen, maybe 300,000 yen. So he could get, I think, about uh, certainly about American $2,500 for that set, I believe, over overseas on eBay. I have no idea what that would go for. But, uh, so he shouldn't be too disappointed if it was financial things he was looking for. Yeah. But no, it wasn't a million dollar Hoxai Great Wave. Uh, post-war, clearly post-war.
Someone's saying no show and tell today. Oh, no, no, there's no way. I must keep up with this job. I'm sorry. This is a very high priority job this morning. I cannot interrupt this. There's 20, 21 sheets left and there's no way I can interrupt this to do a show and tell. I'm sorry. And given that we had no show and tell on the last stream, also because of printing, I'm, I'm sorry. This, things are what they are. The next stream, today's Monday, I'm going to keep going here today until I finish this, but the next stream will be Thursday for me, and almost certainly that will be a sizing stream, but it'll be a sizing stream with a difference. Ishikawa-san, the lady who normally sits next to me here for printing, it will be her uh, second sizing lesson. So it's going to be Dave there at the sizing bench with Ishikawa-san, and she's going to be sizing the batch of paper for the Kyoto Journey number four print. So I will have lots of chance to see the chat there and talk, and you will have a chance to see Ishikawa-san doing her sizing. And that'll be Thursday morning's stream. But today I have no choice, I'm sorry. I just have to sit here and keep going, my, keep my head down and get this finished. There's 20 sheets left. Normally after printing a key block, we wait a day, quote unquote, a day before doing the next color. Not sure what I might do today. I, know. I can't move right directly on to doing the next gray because the key block will then smear a little bit. Whether or not I'll be okay by tonight, I'm not sure. I'll come back here this evening after dinner and I'll test this out. I will get the next gray block. I will get the next gray block and try printing it. And if there's no smearing, I will print that then. And then the next day, Tuesday, I'll go on to printing the next one. So this batch of prints will be done Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I'll do other work then. Thursday, as I said, will be the sizing. And then we'll take it from there. I need many, many more batches of this print. Who's going to do them? I'm not quite sure. It may be me. What's the song? song Gordon Summers sting what's the song it might be me not no it may be me it will be me I've forgotten my god it's been years since I've listened to that stuff Probably me, that's right. That's certainly I could not come up with those three words. It's 
probably me. That's the album for me for him, Ten Summoner's Tales. Head and shoulders above all the rest for my, my, my ears. I never did his stuff in the police years. That wasn't my bag. I wasn't ever that sort of thing. But when Ten Summoner's Tales came along, that slides over far enough into a musicality that it picked up on Dave's radio. I think that would be on my desert island list too, actually, I think. These days I don't listen to music, I don't have an environment for it. My workshop out in Omi, of course, was cranked up, speakers all around the room, bass woofer under the bench. Here in the sucks, I don't even have my own printing bench. This is not my setup here, I'm borrowing Dejan's bench. But back home, if that will ever happen again, music was a very important part of what I was doing. Everything. I ripped all the CDs I ever got. There's literally thousands of CDs ripped into my drives. Didn't ever I don't know, rip all the LPs, just it was too much trouble. So there's a bunch of LPs out there that still are sitting on the shelf. Not, uh, they're not ripped. What do you call it when you do an LP? You rip a CD, but you rip an LP, I forget. I can't remember the word. Digitize it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, oh here we come. Hello, hello. I'm a little bit of So, so. Yes, yes, yes. That was Aoyama-san. Oh ho 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 ho. And now we have Ayumi-san. Lucky to show Ayumi-san today. 
、他のスリーシーいますから、エアコン入れたんですよ。今、ライブよ。So, don't, don't be careful which, which clothes you take off. If you get changed, go and change in the change room. Kigai Sri, Kigai Sri, sir. I'm alive this. Today's next to bonus. Ami san will change your clothes. <laughs> this is Ayumi Ohashi. Don't get confused. This is not the Ayumi san who makes the spider prints. This is our printer, Ayumi san. The lady who makes the barons also. ラーメンキャッツ出来上がりまだいやまだ今週できたらいいけどって感じあれなんかさあれ必要なんだっけん樹脂ん樹脂樹脂板ってえっとねラーメンの別でありましたよあのヒーロスと同じですだけど右側に堀氏スリシの名前それだけそう下にジェッツさんのサインだからアメリカへ送,送りますヒルズのような重視ですだから川崎大橋でしょあ,、はい、しあるんでしょ、うん、川崎かな川崎,川崎よ<笑> 2年前<笑>前すぎてもう Are it? Are it? Are it? Are it? Oh, oh. Go <laughs> the plug, plug. Did you want to plug it? Yeah, that's plug. She killed the power to the outside camera. <laughs> I see. She didn't realize it was on and she turned it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, so. <laughs> the outside camera is plugged into the outlets on her bench. It's closest to the window. So normally when she comes in, she sits down and powers up her bench. So she hit the switch. It was already on. ああ。ちょっと新聞紙に挟んで。Oh, so the camera has reset to its zoom. I can't go out there and change it. そっか。そう。あみさんが電源を切れて、外のカメラのズームが元の形に戻ったんです。そうです、そうです、そうです、そうです、そうです、そうです。There's nothing I can do about that right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 申し訳ない。そっか。あそこ
Yeah, the white awning you're seeing there is the little theater, and behind that, it's hidden here this morning, is the Korean hot dog shop. Very active, very busy, huge number of online orders, the stream of motorbikes all day long stopping there to pick up Uber or delivery. They're tied together with, you name it, delivery service. And although they, though they get a good lot of street traffic, they've got seats there and people sit far and away most of their business is online. There isn't one or two trees on this street, John. Actually, there's an inside story there. There are six trees on this street, carefully calculated and planted, because this is Dok, Dokku Dori. So there are six trees on this street, one of which is right in front of our shop. We can't see it in this camera view. Six trees, not five, not seven. No, I didn't know this at all the first couple of years I was here and then one day the, the whale restaurant owner was chatting with me about this or something. In fact, he'd been concerned. The tree in front of our place has grown quite a lot and it's covering our sign. And he was assuming that I would be upset about this and said, okay, we'll, we'll get that cut shortly. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, it's, it's stopping your sign. I said, I don't care. I'd rather have the tree, you know. So he's like, are you sure you're okay? And I said, I'm okay. I'd rather have the tree. Don't worry about my sign, you know. And we were talking about the trees, and he explained that there's six, six different species, six kinds, uh, selected to give a good uh, kind of blossom throughout the year. No, it's common sense. We don't need the sign. I mean, the sign is there because it's identifying us, but it's not a question of people walking down the street, bumping into the sign, saying, oh, wow, a print shop. Got to go in there and spend money. That's not how it works for us. The sign is simply an identifier. So, of course, I'd rather have the tree. We're not losing traffic because of it. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is the last one in this group of 10, which leaves us 10 sheets after this one is done. What's the time? 9.35. Oh, oh, bad end is it? I'm going here. I'm probably using exactly the baron she wants to use. It's, you know, キュルシホンキュルシバナンヤッコゴクホソイ。はい。大丈夫ですか。大丈夫ですか。昨日のテレビ番組いつ放送するよてですか。コロナです。聞くの忘れてたんで。そっか。何ちゃんとか。チャン
だ終わりじゃないけど大まかなところが OK She's not finished, but it looks like ramen cats. So we'll have a look. We'll have a peek. You saw it here first. ラーメンキャッツ、あの、出来上がりは何回すりですか、あゆみさん。うんと。十。十八とかじゃないですか。うん、あの、今チャットの中に誰が聞いたんですね、ラーメンキャッツ何回すりかな。十八回。she's telling me that it, ラーメンキャッツ now is looking like it's going to be eighteen impressions。not hundred percent confirmed。Eighteen, she says. Yeah, as John says, that's about target somewhere around there. For a print of that price, we wouldn't want to really go past twenty, although we do. Taguna Ura, I think, is twenty-six. Some of them, Shadow of the Colossus, I think, is more the, the Times Burn Bright, the campfire print. Chrono Trigger, that's way more. It's over 30. You've got to win some and lose some. Too dark in the middle.
エイジネアミさんラーメンキャッツの次考えて決まったんじゃないんですね予定ですがですがでも私もうすぐ北海道そっかそっかいつ7月の25日に帰るんでそっかで8月の10日ぐらいまでいないからじゃあ次の KJ 全く参加することできないインパーシブルでしょうまだ始まってないです8月です8月出す予定です石川さんは一応やるんですか、ね、いやもう来週テストですよでスグさんがオフレイちゃんもオフアイミさんもオフデイビッドはこの作品やらないとダメですよそれならじゃあ、まあ、先の方がいいんだったらラーメンキャンプだから、まあ後で話しましょうあのもしだは試しすりいいよ試しだけならそうすると久保田に出すでも石川さん試しすりもやりたいんですでも今週できないです来週から始まりますいや8月の作品を久保田さんに出すと、うんなれないです。危ないです。だ考えは今週中に試し、久保田さんに出す二つのグループ、百五十、百五十。じゃあ私が石川さんに聞いてみます。I don't know. Let's just まあ今日ちょっと終わってから話しましょう。はい Somebody counting? One, two, three, four, five, six. Four left? Three left? I'm not sure you're going to count it. You've noticed now the amount of pigment here. I'm putting much less on. In fact, I've even skipped a couple. There's lots of pigment now in the brush. The block is finally killing its thirst. It's still a bit thirsty, but it's better. It's not stealing as much of the moisture. So, bit by bit by bit, it requires less pigment to be put on the block here now after these, you know, what have we done? 60, 70 sheets. And if I kept going, It would just be less and less still going on here now. If the block wasn't stealing any of it, all the moisture, all the pigment would be going through to the print.、But、the block has been stealing it all the way along. The block and the room.
somebody's last sheet. I think not. The show one. Oh, it is. It's the last one. You're right. Okay, let me just get my newspaper on top of this stuff. Then we'll turn the camera around, we'll take a little peek at Ayumi-san. And for me, the next step now is after I get the stream down and after I have made a visit to the smallest room in the house and then got a cup of coffee, I will come back now to look at this paper. And I'll try and decide now, this paper Last night was too wet, but now it could be on the verge of being too dry. I'm not sure. So I'm going to let it sit here, as I said, go and get a pee, get a cup of coffee, whatever, and come back. And I might need now to moisten this a little bit more before uh, doing the next color tonight. We'll see. I'm <laughs> streaming too. There's not. Uh, what am I doing? This needs to go bigger. It's up to Matika to say. Let's put the outside one off just for a sec. Ima, Ayumi. So, 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 so. Ayumi san wa shikoto chotto shokai shitai desu. This is Ayumi san. She's missed her chance to catch me doing the key block. Ha ha ha. Okay, Ayumi san. Now, I told them before, don't bother me, but now we're going to bother her. She's printing. After she's printing, we'll ask her to we'll ask her to hold it up so we can see it. Now what we should do? Let's use this camera. If I can, let's do this. Let's take this camera. They'll probably panic because it'll unplug itself as I try and move it. But let's just take this here. Okay, Anisa, can you show us? Just a minute. Oh. Right into the pigment. <laughs> Where are we? Okay, Anisa. Just a minute. She says no. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you show us ramen cats? <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> show us the print. Show us the print. <laughs> Oops, I'm going to zoom in, zoom, zoom, hold it still. Okay, you got it, you got it. Okay, so Ato Nan Shok this, you know. They were still, the, the land, lanterns are not finished to show. So. Okay, whatever, whatever, they're coming in, coming in, coming in. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, good man. I can't, the cable doesn't reach far enough. No, I can't. The cable doesn't reach far enough for me to be able to get to her bench. Sorry. If I, if I do that, it's going to pull. Look at it, right on the pigment. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Have an eye, have an eye, have an eye, have an eye. We can't, no, we can't do it. I can't. The, the cable doesn't reach far enough. Anyway, 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 anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So, okay, thanks very much. I'm sorry for the chaos stream today. Two streams in a row now have been chaos. Can't be helped. Uh, the next one will perhaps also be chaos. It's going to be Thursday morning. Ishikawa-san is going to be doing training sizing. Ooh, and yeah, if, I really had to talk to her. You know, I said, come on, in public. And she's like, in public? My training? And I'm like, you're good at this. Don't worry, don't worry, you know. So, 
<laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So that'll probably be Thursday morning, Wednesday night for you guys. The Thursday stream will be Ishikawa-san training on her sizing. We'll see. We'll decide. Okay, where's the outside camera? Let's put that up to say goodbye. <laughs> Another chaos stream. <laughs> see you on Thursday. Thanks. Bye for now. <laughs> well, there's the seats. That's the Korean restaurant chairs. Whale restaurant on the right, donkey in the distance. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye for now.